Hi my cyber angels, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel and uh, thank you very much for liking and sharing all the videos and coming into the life and if you are new and you've just landed on this page or this channel uh, welcome to this channel and I hope you will enjoy the readings and remember I also do weekly readings that's just one video for all the signs for every day and this is the personal reading for you for the whole week for your zodiac sign I'm just making a general introduction video so I'll try to keep it short as there is also new stuff news um, welcome like I said and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be informed um, uh, or notified rather when something new happens when I go live or when new videos are loaded up there are also romance readings every month and uh, weeklies and uh, a separate one for all signs just see what resonates with you and take it from there and the news is that um, I'll be going live on face uh, on Facebook on Sunday the 2nd of August and it is on the page of online well-being mind body spirit fair the 2nd of August so join us there it is at 11 till 1900 British Standard Time and on the Eastern Time it is 6 o'clock in the morning until 1400 and I'll repeat that 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening British Standard Time and 6 o'clock till 2 o'clock Eastern Time and I hope you will enjoy that there are loads of cyber stalls because uh, there are a load of participants that are selling their wares or showing you uh, what they do like tarot readers uh, Reiki Masters, Meditations, I'm coming in with the Lenaman. So come and join me, I'm going live at 12.40 um, that is um, the uh, Dutch time and 6.20 in the evening till 7 o'clock um, also so keep a scout around you can find me under Charlie's Angel and uh, perhaps the times might be different so excuse me if I got the time wrong because in England it is an hour early and it's an hour later for me so please join me in the online well-being mind body spirit fair tomorrow the 2nd of August and that is one bit of news and the second bit of news is that I have got a new page it's called Charlie's Angel Crowd on Facebook and there um, we can interact really much better than just the chat and there will be meditation groups uh, workshops uh, other things happening there it is a private group so remember that if you do join you don't have to join in all the live sessions but it is called the rooms or the space and there you can see each other but you can always uh, switch off your video camera and take place so um, if you do join that group please respect the privacy of others and I do not take uh, uh, discrimination or of any kind or pesting likely then one will get disqualified deleted without notice or warning so if you would like to uh, join the private group then please join us and I've also got out two new reviews on two books uh, which I'm going to use with an English witch and a Dutch witch I'm going to make the new series with Wendy um, on the, the healthy witch and the workplace spell and um, everyday magic on the job so have a look at these two reviews and see if you would like to join me with Wendy or with the other witch the Georgina 
in English there will be in two languages and there will be a new series so I'm doing a live review on YouTube with Wendy and with Georgina so here we go and we're going to start off with your reading thank you for being here and remember this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you then please look at your moon sign or your rising sign I love you love from cyber mom and big cyber hugs and I hope to see you back if you're a cyber angel in the live sessions and if you can't join us because of holiday or any other reason enjoy your holiday stay safe and stay well and know that you are not alone as the angels travel with you and if you're new then I hope you will come and join us in the live sessions and take care and stay safe as well love you all bye bye hi Capricorn this is your reading for the 3rd till the 9th of August 2020 I repeat the 3rd till the 9th of August 2020 and welcome back I'm using the Morgan Greer deck and the Wildwood Tarot and the Lenormand and the Angel Feather okay the, your first card is the swords the ace of swords so you are a champion you've got victory you've got recognition there is a new beginning the truth might have just come out about something if you are in ju judicial situation then the truth has come out and you have victory wow uh, you are being recognized as a true and honest person on the other hand the ace of swords can also mean that you might start something new in communication like a job in communication like a, a presenter or a, uh, an author or a newsreader communication or a teacher uh, you could also be starting a new study gathering knowledge I'm hearing now some of you might become um, a research uh, officer um, I also get to hear Sherlock Holmes you might become private detectives okay I don't know that is gathering wisdom getting information and also coming straight through to the truth to the center the core of the facts okay sorry I'm harpering but I've been really really busy because like I said there's new things happening and I'm really excited about it so let's have a look what the clarification card is for Monday the 3rd and you have the four of bows and bows are ones there will be celebrations the four of ones is in the traditional tarot the four of ones like weddings but in this deck from the Wildwood Terror it means celebrations of course you might be meeting new people you might be networking as well if you are making meeting people these could be good partnerships as they will be um, uh, built on proper foundations as the four bows stands for the four corners of a house also um, you might be getting married you might be buying a house a new beginning like I said so you might need judicial assistance with contracts and signing contracts to start this new beginning and that really is a case of four celebrations could be a new job like I said as well on Wednesday you have the six of cups the six of cups somebody is bringing you a gift and somebody could be returning from the past you might be stuck in your thoughts thinking about beautiful memories from the past perhaps your childhood and somebody is coming back from your childhood um, I am this I'm also hearing somebody might be coming back home 
I don't know why, m most probably coming back home to the country they left. Somebody, some of you, m or one of you, two of you, might have immigrated to another country for work, and now there is a new beginning, a new home waiting. Coming home, let's say, I can understand that and I r relate to that. I was born in Holland, moved to England, and then moved back to Holland. But if I go back home now, because I've got two homes, um, I don't regard myself as Dutch or English, but European. I have two uh, homes in two countries. So you might be going back to visit uh, family or friends, or you might actually be moving back to your original birthplace like you might have homesickness that is also what I'm feeling you have the ace of vessels the waters of life yes the ace of vessels the ace of cups that is indeed the stream of life there could be new love there could be new passion there could be something that you are nurturing that will is new perhaps a new job in the health sector wow so you this person that is coming back from the past you might have some kind of love connection or passion about something that you had in your childhood let's say you like to be outside and somebody's coming back and you start reminiscing uh, with this person and you might just say oh I would love to move out into the country do you understand what I'm saying the love of nature reminiscing and you might be moving okay that is lovely a new beginning it could be with a cancer it could be with a Scorpio it could be with a Pisces this is Gemini Libra and Aquarian Ooh, you might be getting married or getting a proposal from this person that's coming back into your life on Friday you have the high priestess and the high priestess is somebody that plays her cards close to her chest that means she doesn't let the cat out of the bag I don't know why I'm saying this letting the cat out of the bag but this is what um, uh, came through um, but she does play the cards close to her chest she's got the scroll of life not only the fountain of life okay she is Pisces because she's she represents the moon goddess and the moon goddess the moon is Pisces so Pisces is quite prominent here so you might be meeting a Pisces and starting a new communication and talking about love perhaps or a relationship you're not telling anybody about this, this you might be keeping this secret <laughs> nice one and uh, yeah I love that but she also listens to her intuition and to her uh, minds her higher self uh, so open up your mind and your solar plex and your heart and you will hear the um, the new ideas that come in or perhaps uh, new emotions especially with the ace of cups um, one advice though if it is somebody new or somebody from the past then perhaps this is the time to tell them how you really feel don't let them go again if you do love them be clear as to what you wish you've got the Queen of vessels okay the Queen of vessels the Queen of vessels is Scorpio and Scorpio is quite mysterious like the Queen or rather the High Priestess they don't um, they don't show everything or tell everything they're very mysterious but also sexy but the cups are sexy and stand for sensuality and nurturing love and passion so make sure that you know what your feelings are towards this person 
and make sure that they tell all or perhaps you are taking a book out of the Queen of Cups book and not telling everybody what, or showing everybody your emotions but you are a nurturing caring person Capricorn you take care of others but remember don't cipher yourself away be strong like the High Priestess and the Queen be the figure of status that is why you are the Queen everybody is a Queen or a King in their own right you don't have to tell everybody how you feel but tell them at the right moment listen to your intuition and your higher self that is your uh, subconscious at the weekend we have the knight of cups he could be coming in bringing you news again this could be cancer scorpio or pisces this could be a love offer well definitely this is more about love than work it all depends how you look at it if you are if your question is with regards to a career of work then there will be new beginnings and something that you really wish to do it could be in law it could be in uh, communication it could be uh, in teaching wisdom learning perhaps a new study okay so something is definitely becoming clear and you will be getting the news at the weekend then we have the page of stones and the page of stones that is also news somebody younger than you or a teenager might be bringing you news and um, that is the links of the wildwood tarot and the page of stones the page of pentacles is um, literally Capricorn okay so you might be giving somebody else news in and also receiving news um, but don't forget Taurus or Virgo this could be with regards that you um, uh, might get a new study or a new love somebody has an eye on you and giving you the offer of love definitely news about something that you love to do or that you're passionate about remember you could also meet the Taurus Virgo or Capric and other Capricorn but I think you are will be in balance at the end of the week now let's see what the uh, Lenormand card is and I will shake the cards so that you know that I do not cheat <laughs> okay and you have the dog the dog means somebody that is loyal and trustworthy and luck is on your side is coming back into your life perhaps you've missed them and 18 is a 9 so that is an ending where there is an ending there is a new beginning and you have the 10 of cups happy families reunion new beginnings whoopee look at that happy families reunion there you go I hope you have enjoyed the reading so far now I'm going to the angel uh, feather card and uh, like I said um, if this is with regards to a question of work I think this card will surprise you you have the essence of an entrepreneur you might even be forming partnerships like I said you could be meeting either an air sign or a water sign or um, a young earth sign the angels have witnessed your business flair and dedicated work ethic they believe that you could aspire to be quite an entrepreneur if you choose to follow this path the magnetic angel magneta angel feather is presented to you as a simple symbol of the entrepreneur magneta is a combination of colors of red and violet the angels would like to advise you that personal change is required to enable you to go forward to the next important stage in your life 
take some time out to heal any aspects within yourself that may hinder your growth such as old emotional mental patterns thinking about the past this emotional healing will render you steadfast in your convictions and passions the angels believe that you have the qualities to be a visionary in business arena angelic support is yours in all the endeavors you pursue okay this card also means initiative cooperation spiritual healing and the high priest is here like I said listen to your feelings your dreams your higher self listen to your subconscious and note down what you dream so get a notepad next to your bed you are now at the right place at the right time you have victory like celebrations victory awesome how a beautiful card universal harmony the ten of cups and I hope you have enjoyed this beautiful reading Capricorn and I hope to see you in the life take care God bless and be blessed love cyber mom stay safe thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and i'll see you in the life monday wednesday or friday ciao ciao